What's going on everyone? This is Cedric Sky Seti. I'm Becky. And today we wanted to talk about a topic that I haven't really addressed on this channel. And now that Becky is part of the channel, we thought it would be good to really talk about this topic and just learn from each other. And in particular, I think Becky's probably gonna learn a little bit about my perspective on this topic. So we're gonna be talking about what it's like for me living as a black man in Asia, specifically in South Korea. Now this video was inspired by a DM that I got from a longtime follower. Let me just read the message or the gist of the message. How is it living as a black man in Asia as opposed to the USA? I think I know the answer, but go. For those of you guys that don't know, I think most of you guys do, but in case you don't, I am half black, half Korean, but for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna refer to myself as a black man because that's what I am. And I think given the way that I look, many people here would just view me as someone who is black. So from that angle, I think my experience here is very similar to many of my black brothers and sisters. My experience here in South Korea is far different than my experience in the USA. <laughs> the recent times with everything going on in the US and with the rise of social media and with just all of these viral videos going on about police brutality and uh, you know racial profiling, I guess it's a good way for me to lead into my answer because I feel like in the States, I do feel a little more on edge versus here. When it comes to just walking down the street, uh, going to the store. Yeah, I feel a little more on edge in the States. And the reason why I noticed that was after I moved to Korea two years ago, um, I visited the States, I think two or three times since then. And when I would go back, it was like I had this heightened sense of being cautious or a little paranoid, not a lot, but a little paranoid. And I realize that I'm looking over my shoulder a little bit or I, I just don't want to like cause too much attention to get the wrong attention to come my way from the wrong people or whenever there are cops around when I went back home I was a little more on edge versus here because like when I got here I was very much like wow this is a whole another atmosphere like it's more peaceful from that angle like I don't feel on edge or anything like that. So uh, yeah, that's one of the big differences, I think. So I think that there are many reasons for this and I'll come from the angle of maybe like socially and historically speaking. So in Korea, one thing that's a big difference is that guns are not legally owned or uh, people cannot just carry them. So you don't feel a sense of somebody could just shoot me any moment on the street, which maybe you're not thinking it regularly on the basis, but we're aware of it when you're in the states and so that makes you a little bit more cautious when you're addressing people or talking to them on the street even cops here are not allowed to carry guns mm -hmm. or they don't regularly carry guns so you don't even have this fear that the police is going to shoot and kill you this is one thing another thing in korea is that there isn't this uh, long history of slavery and so we don't have this i think it's a different sense of racism here but it's not like a deep rooted difference as in we once owned you and are better than you, right? And I think that even as years pass, obviously in the US we're seeing that still exists today, like this, I don't know, subconscious, sometimes very conscious awareness of that. And so in Korea that doesn't, that also doesn't exist on the same level that it does in the US. I feel racism here really stems a lot from ignorance or just non-exposure. Mm -hmm. So those are some other aspects here. And then just in general, people here are very communal minded and also careful about not embarrassing the other person or embarrassing myself. And so when they constantly have this looking at each other, which we call nunchi thing going on, um, I feel like you have more awareness of the people around you and not in a sense of like, what are they going to do to me? So in the States, uh, there is a history hundreds of years of really baggage and uh, just a certain mindset towards minority people versus here, there, is, there really isn't that baggage. The negative stereotypes and the uh, just the false perspectives towards black people in the States have uh, just been reinforced for decades and decades, generations and generations. And 
you know, many would argue that it's much better better now in the States, in which in many ways it is, but in a lot of ways, the baggage is still there and there's still undercurrents of uh, what our parents and, you know, grandparents' generations went through in the States. So, yeah, I you, know, you still feel that when you're in the States. So for me, being in Korea, I feel like there is a certain level of racism, but it's different. It's, it's completely different. And I think we can maybe make another video on that and go into detail or kind of speculate as to why it's different, but it just is. And I think if you ask um, many of the brothers and sisters here, I don't want to speak for them, but many of them will say the same thing. You, you hear them saying the same thing, that it's a different sort of racism, usually based in ignorance here. I don't really feel that racism that much here, but you know, growing up in the South, in North Carolina, for most of my life, you know what that sort of racism looks like, whether it's overt or whether it's more subtle. And I didn't realize how much of that I was used to dealing with until I moved here. So I will just say that I feel much more at peace here, I think mentally and emotionally from that angle. I just feel that here people just mind their business um, and they have a certain level of mutual respect, at least, you know. In general. In general, maybe not like inside all the time, but on the outside, they have this sense of respect. There's two things that come to mind. One, I think has to do with upbringing. And two, I think it has to be with the ideals that a society is built upon. So in Korea, we have the Confucius uh, ideals that the Korean society was built upon. And some of those ideals are directly connected to how we deal with people today and how our society and community works you know you're taught to respect your elders you're taught to respect the person that you don't know um and also like like there's there's just many different ideals that you can see are taking place even today in modern society which does not exist in the u.s because the u.s was not built on those same kind of confucius ideals the second thing is upbringing so i had heard i guess i was reading it on the news when um, some person in the US was shouting at a protester and had said, I'm gonna teach my children to hate you, which is such a heinous thing to say. But I feel that that is something that continues the cycle mm -hmm. of racism in the US is because if you look back some years ago, it's not like slavery had ended so in ancient history. And so there's still people today who are living from being raised by their grandparents to hate certain people. And right. that takes a lot to get out of somebody's system or their mindset. Right. And that really affects those around you. Yeah, I mean, I, it's my belief that racism is learned. Mm -hmm. Discrimination is learned. It's learned behavior. Yeah. Um, it's not something innate. It's something that I think is really passed down from you know generation to generation or from peers you know what i mean and just reinforced through media through the system that is just something that i felt in the states growing up and um you know i'm able to just kind of look back now that i'm here in korea and i'm able to compare so not only that but i just feel a lot safer in general you know as a black man or just as a foreigner just as a person living here in per period you know um i feel like Safety is a big thing that most foreigners will tell you is on their top three list of why best Korea things. Yeah, yeah. Place. Why Korea is such a great place, or even other countries in Asia. I mean, Japan sort of has that same reputation, um, and I think other Asian countries. I feel stress free in that way, honestly. For I, safety? Yeah, I can go out at any time and I can, I never have to think that someone's gonna like jump me or someone's gonna stop me because of the colors I'm wearing, which has happened to me before, you know? Mm -hmm. um, but I just, I feel at peace mentally from that angle. Which is a good thing. Yeah, it's a great thing. So that's a major difference. I mean, that's the, I guess the gist of how I feel. And as far as like some of the differences that I feel here in Korea versus the US, I don't wanna give the wrong idea about or overgeneralize, mm, you good. know, the yeah. issue on either side because right. in the U.S. it really depends on where you live too, mm -hmm. right? I mean, the U.S. is so big, there's 50 states and within each state, 
I mean, there's just there's just different regions that are just different subculturally. So in comparison, would you say living in Korea has been a better experience on the term of being a black man or living in the US? <laughs> Um, Just to put you right on the spot. No, that's not putting me on the spot. I can't answer that because like there's there's good and I don't want to say bad, but there's just like pros and cons or positives and negatives of both. I think from the issues that we brought up today, I feel a little bit more comfortable and I just feel more safe here generally. But it's not to say that it's better here for me. Yeah, I just feel safe and a little bit more at peace when it comes to those, those issues. Yeah, so I'm not gonna say one's better than the other. Right now, I do feel that this is a good time for me to be here. Mm -hmm. So I will say that. All right, well, that is it for this video. Just wanted to address that DM that I got and just uh, talk a little bit about, uh, I guess, my experiences here and also in the States. And it was good that Becky and I can have these conversations because you know she brings a good balance too and she brings perspectives that I don't even think about being a black man here. I mean, she has her perspectives being a white and Korean woman, which is totally different. <laughs> it's ways. very different, yeah. Yeah, so um, it's great that we can have these conversations mm -hmm. and you know we're very open to hearing what you guys have to say, whether you live or have lived in Asia anywhere or in Korea, or you just live in the States or wherever you are. We're curious to hear about your experiences there as well, just in general, like, do you feel safe there? Do you feel like it's a good place for you to call home? Um, these are all things that we're just navigating and just wondering and we're always trying to learn and grow. So yeah, definitely leave it in the comments below. All right, that is it for this video. Remember to follow us on social media, subscribe to this channel, click that notification bell. Big shout out to our Patreons who are supporting us in this channel. Thank you so much. We do what we do because of you. And yeah, that is pretty much it. We're gonna see you in the next video. Remember to always seize the day. Peace. Peace.